definitely really different um, because obviously you're away from your family and I'm, I'm very close to my family. So I did have a little bit of a tough time at first, but also I met really good people here from the beginning and a lot of my friends were the same way as me. So I think once you find a really good group of people here and you find what you're passionate about if you don't know your major yet or if you already do know your major and you get more involved, I think it's a really, the adjustment's not as bad as some people think. Coming into college from high school, the workload was a lot heavier and I had to like find my balance. Um, so I had to like stop hanging out with my friends as much in order to like focus and get my work done. I know it can really pile up and it can be really stressful, uh, anxiety inducing, but something that I felt has really helped me in my transition to college has been uh, coming to the wellness center um, and participating in activities here um, because the physical activity helps take off the uh, stress of the emotional anxiety. It's a little bit different because a lot of the time, at least like in my nursing classes, the class size is a little bit bigger. So um, sometimes that's a little bit intimidating, but um, I think especially because you're taking classes here that are more like centered towards like whatever you're studying on like high school. Uh, I like them better because I know that all the information we go through tomorrow is stuff that I've learned and that I'm comfortable with. So I like college presentations better, but um, just because I like presenting things on stuff that I'm passionate about. So I don't think they're as bad as some people make them seem like they are. My adjustment towards this date was pretty easy. Um, I did struggle with um, making friends at first for like the first couple days, but you know, I let go of like my like shyness and I started like opening myself up a little bit, like going to meet new people, going to like the events that they had and yeah, it like blossomed from there. I like to go to the library. I think it's a really good place to get a lot of work done because I know if I go to my room, I'm going to want to go to sleep. So um, a lot of the time I meet friends there or I do homework on my own and it's really good because it's really quiet and there's also a quiet floor if you don't feel that it's quiet enough. This is the living area where like sometimes I hang out with my friends or I really like doing homework on the couches because they're just really comfortable and like doing homework in your room isn't really ideal because that's like, you know, like your comfort space. So doing homework out here is really, you know, beneficial for me. I think with studying, I definitely like to study on my own first to figure out if I actually know the information and then I think studying it with people and talking about things out loud it makes it stick more so when I go to take an exam I'll remember like, oh one of my friends said this or oh one of my friends said that. So I feel like doing it out loud after you've already gone through it definitely helps it um, stick a lot when you go to take the exam. Okay, so now after I got some studying done, I'm going to head to my stats class and it's in Sullivan. Classes are harder in college because you actually have to put your time and effort and, you know, review. Um, one thing I do is I write my notes out after we're like done with the chapter. I rewrite my notes and go over it before the test and I think it really helps me. I also do go to tutoring um, if I need extra help in order to like understand the topic better. I think college classes are definitely more work outside of class than in class. Um, and it's really good because you can make your schedule so that if you don't want to have a Friday class because you want to go home or you don't want to have a Tuesday class because it's the middle of the week, you can usually try to make your schedule like that. Um, so I like them better um, and also I like to you know, study on my own and like do things like that on my own so I like that it's more independent out of class. I like to get to class early because um, I can have like a couple extra minutes to talk to my friend and you know get settled in for a little bit. Uh, I'm actually coming from my dorm right now and I'm on my way to the wellness center. My favorite part about the wellness center has to be uh, the multi-purpose gym. That's where I go to play basketball. Some of the things I do to stay healthy as a college student are mostly eating right, making sure I don't pig out or change my diet too much from what it was at home because I think my diet at home was pretty good. Um, I like to work out. I come here usually five times a week, sometimes six. Um, 
And just walking from class and stuff like that, it's nice. It keeps you fit, keeps you healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, the gym here is open almost always. And um, I just like to play basketball with my friends. It, or just different people. All the people here are really welcoming and accepting. And everyone's going to spend time with each other and play with each other. So it's a really good, good time. OK. All right, I'll see you guys. I'm on my way to uh, the student center. Going to go play some ping pong, maybe a little bit of homework. Definitely ping pong. I just came back from my dorm and I'm about to get some food because I'm hungry and I have class in a couple minutes. I'm getting food from the food court. Um, that's like a to-go, more like um, type of eating style, I guess. And I usually get it like when I don't have time to sit down at the pod, which is more like buffet style and you just get what you want and sit down with your friend, maybe. The lentil off is my favorite because they have chicken wings and fries. There's the desk. That is obviously here as you move in. It's great for studying. You can store your laptops, different cords, electronics, stuff like that. And we move over here to the spread, okay? Um, Provided it is fairly comfortable, but I would definitely recommend getting a, uh, a bed pad. You have to get your own microwave and fridge. Um, there's a way to rent it through via the school, but I bought mine uh, separately and personally. It's uh, just as inexpensive. And then we move on over here. We've got some decent closet space, you know. Nothing too fancy, but it's pretty deep. You'll definitely have enough room to store whatever you need here. Um, and just keep in mind your room size. Like as you move in, you don't know exactly what it is, but some rooms are bigger and some rooms are smaller. So you're gonna have to adjust accordingly once you move in. The community in Downton is very, you know, supportive. Everyone's friends with everyone, which I really enjoyed. You know, like I had friends on the first floor, which where I live. I had friends on the fourth floor, on the second floor. It was really great. You know, it's like a one big, like, giant house. Having a roommate, it's uh, definitely an interesting experience, especially if you come from a place where you didn't have to share a room with someone uh, where you're coming from. But it's a good experience. It helps you learn how to live with other people when you haven't necessarily had the opportunity to before. Um, it's just really important to respect each other's space um, and each other's time. Um, and try to divvy up the efforts in terms of cleaning and making sure that the room is tidy um, and just be uh, sensitive to how they're feeling um, and what they're up to at the time. The bathroom situation is really not that bad. They have janitors that clean every morning, so you don't have to worry about that. You just have to clean your room. So some things that you should definitely bring to school, don't bring all of your clothes. I still do it every time I move in and I regret it every single time because then when I go to move out, I have to move out in like three shifts because I brought so many clothes. One tip that you need is bringing a fan, especially during the summer or like the early moving day in September, it gets really hot. Really important tip is to have a shower caddy. Uh, just bring your essentials to the bathroom so that you don't lose anything. One thing you're going to want to make sure you have is your keys and your one card to swipe into the bathroom. If you go, you don't want to be running back and forth between your room and the bathroom, especially if your room is kind of far. I love having like a lot of, as you can tell, a lot of decorations in my room because it makes it feel more like homey than like just a blank room. One tip I have is to uh, definitely try to get to know your roommate before you move in if you can. I love hanging my pictures of my family so that I can like remind them that I have remind myself that I have my friends and my family as a support system. Well, on my way into the student center, this building is fantastic. Go to tutoring and office hours if you need it because the professors are really helpful and if you need any resources, they'll provide it for you. Welcome to the living room. Um, this is what it is. It's just a couple of different places to relax, hang out, uh, play pool. Yeah. Ball and ping pong. 
I came with my friend at Vostok, which is um, a event, an event hosted by Res Life. Um, at the end of the semester, there's a bunch of giveaways. They have, you know, like bandanas. They, they're doing tie dye over there, food, drinks. It's really cool. I think the biggest thing is I while being at school have learned to be a lot more like social and outgoing and I think that's the biggest thing because that's how you're gonna meet a lot of people um, because like at first you might think like oh I don't want to be so like outgoing because people are gonna think I'm crazy and it's like no people are gonna gravitate towards you because um, everybody's here everybody's meeting new people so I think like meeting people here has been like my favorite part of being here